Hey guys, this is Eric from Counter Slam coming at you with another model review. Um, doing this in the middle of a thunderstorm, so hopefully I don't lose power or hear thunder coming on in the background, you'll know why. So, uh, But I want to show you guys a model that I picked up the other day. Fiona the Lash, the newest uh, character solo that came out for Legion of Everblight. And, uh, you know, she got released obviously at the same time as the um, Lesser Warlocks, although she herself is not a Lesser Warlock. Um, but she's got some... Uh, pretty cool abilities and uh, her stats are pretty nice and uh, I think she's got some really good synergies I think you're gonna see a lot of her on the table um, And I think there are some beasts that can work with well with her even though she's not a lesser war Like I think she still kind of plays off with the beast pretty well, so um, we'll get into that here in a minute, too So uh, let's take a look at her stats. We'll look at her abilities and then we'll look at some synergies and kind of see what, uh, what works well with her. So, uh, looking at her, her stats, she has a speed 7, strength 7, mat 7, 777, uh, rep 4, defense 15, armor 12, pretty average for uh, Legion solos. Um, defense is a little bit higher, usually it tends to be 14, hers is 15, uh, so with tenacity that goes up to 16, um, that can make her pretty, pretty hard to hit. Um, her command is 9, and uh, she has um, Pathfinder. Which is pretty nice. Um, so she can, and it plays off with some of her abilities pretty well too. Having Pathfinder is uh, definitely a, a good thing for any Legion model. Of course, you know more rules we get to ignore, right? Um, and she has a uh, the, called the Barbed Lash, which is a pow, pound strength 12 reach weapon. Uh, you can see the little barbed uh, or the little chain weapon she's got in her hand there. And uh, she has five hit boxes, and she costs three points. Unfortunately, she's a character because if she wasn't, she'd be ridiculous. Um, so she has, uh, with when she goes to attack, she can choose one of three abilities. And the first one being Dismember, which means she gets an extra dice to damage beasts, uh, which is pretty nice. And, um, hey, there's some thunder. And then she's got Pitch, and she basically chooses one of these abilities uh, every time she attacks. But she has Pitch, uh, so she can throw a model uh, three and a half inches. Pretty cool. Of course, it has to be a small base model. Can't be anything bigger than that, which can sometimes be a little uh, kind of frustrating. I wish I wish she could throw bigger models. It'd be really nice too. <clears throat> um, and then she has uh, beat back. So she, when she hits a model, she pushes it an inch away, and then she gets to follow up an inch. So that's pretty good. Um, she is evasive, so she can't be targeted by free strikes. And uh, if you miss her with a ranged attack, she gets to advance two inches. So that's kind of nice. Uh, so if people are trying to shoot her and they miss her, she can get closer. Uh, or farther away, maybe pull back into a forest if you need her to, which is nice. Um, and uh, she has Prowl. So whenever she's in an environment that gives her concealment, she actually gains stealth, which is really nice. So whether it be a cloud, a spell, um, you know, like Pythagoras' you know, Fog of War, or... Um, you know, or she's standing in a forest, then she gets stealth. So it makes her a lot harder to hit. You have to be a lot closer to her if they do want to shoot her. And, uh, of course, then she's going to get all kinds of cool bonuses. So, um, She also has rapid strike. So when, during her activation, she gets two attacks, uh, which is really nice, especially with the, the, the pitch. She can actually throw, you know, two models, you know, during her activation, maybe hit two other models and cause some collateral damage there and maybe take out four models. Um, and her weapon has chain strike, so it means it actually gains, it's a four inch attack. Uh, so that mixed with the pitch, three and a half inches, it means you can throw a model almost seven and a half inches away, which is pretty awesome. Um, and then she has chain weapons, so she ignores like buckler, shield wall, all that stuff, which seems like a lot more infantry starting to get like the shield wall stuff. I've been seeing that a lot, especially in like uh, convergence and things like that, a lot of stuff with shield wall. So she kind of ignores all that, which makes her her attacks and damage rolls pretty effective against infantry. Um, she's definitely a, an infantry hunter, which is kind of nice. Um, and so those are her abilities, and I think she's an amazing model. I've played her a couple games now with Rias. Uh, of course, I think she's kind of a mini Rias in her own right. Um, you know, your opponent has to pick which one they want to fear more, Fianna or Rias. <laughs> so, but she's she's pretty good. Uh, she works well with uh, a number of models. I think uh, P. Lilith would be another great caster with her. Um, and uh, but Rias, obviously her feet. I um, mean, well, you have dash, which would give her an extra inch to movement. You have the feet, which gives her an extra melee attack. Uh, you know, so just great overall. And uh, her 
um, and then be able to jump base to base and you know get the extra four inches. So I mean, she can she can depending on what she's hitting and damaging, she can do she can get pretty far up the field <laughs> pretty quick. Uh, her other um, uh, yeah, or thinking about beasts you can take with her. Going back to the whole uh, you know lesser warlock thing. Well, you know, I think some of the nephilim actually work really well with her. Um, two in particular, I think the um, protector be able to block shots so if she's not in a forest and she's not gaining concealment or stealth if you have a protector stand next to her you could have it take a shot for her uh, which would be nice or try to block line of sight uh, staying in front of her would be nice the um, the other option too is the the soldier and I think the soldier is amazing with her because it gets uh, put massacre on her and especially with uh, Rias's feet you could get quite a bit so uh, you would get an extra attack with massacre you get an extra attack with rise's feet she gets the two initials so that's four attacks and if you chose pitch for all of those and she is kind of around a bunch of infantry she could literally take out like eight models with uh, in a feet turn that's pretty good so being able to chuck a bunch of infantry at each other and take some guys out that can be pretty devastating so um, yeah, very. I think very much well worth the three points. Uh, but I, I think, you know, like I said, the the soldier is, is something. If you if you like being able to use her and be able to do her abilities, uh, the soldier might be. I don't want to say auto include, but it might it it's something you should really strongly consider. I think. Uh, obviously, a shredder being next to her, giving her you know, uh, tenacity can be a great benefit. Um, so there's there's different things. There are different models like that. that I think that it would do really well. Um, so like I said, she, even though she's not a, a, a lesser warlock, I think she can benefit to kind of pairing up with certain beasts. So, um, yeah, so anyway, that's that's my review of Fianna. Um, I, like I said, I think you're going to see her a lot on the table. We Like I said, we don't have very many three-point options. We tend to, you know, when you build lists, like a lot of times you have like three points left, so you're like trying to find a two-pointer and maybe a feral geist or the swamp gobbers or something, you know, to, to finish off those one points or you know, spell martyr, depending on what, what you're looking for, but uh, having three points left, if you can fit Fiona in there, and she works, she has some good synergies with your caster, uh, I would definitely recommend it. Um, she's another kind of, one of those distraction pieces, after your opponents have played against her enough times, uh, they're going to have to kind of dedicate something to taking her out, and uh, that can work out to your advantage. So, um, yeah, so anyway, let me know in the comments below what you guys think of her, if you've played her yet, uh, or other synergies or combos you think other people should know about with her. Um, and let's keep bringing the blight to our opponents, and uh, we'll see you guys again next time on Counter Slam.